Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video on my channel and welcome if you're a new subscriber. Thank you so much for taking the time to click play on my video. So in today's video I want to show you what I picked up from Dorothy Perkins from the Petite section because I recently realized, so I'm 5 foot 2 if you haven't seen any of my videos before, and I realized that buying clothing from the Petite section is likely to fit so much better just because of course they are tailored to shorter people like me. So when I realized that Dorothy Perkins actually has a petite section, I definitely wanted to check it out and see what their products are like. I haven't purchased anything from there in a really long time. I think it's been probably years now that I haven't bought anything from there. So it was really exciting to place an order with them. So if you're interested to see what I picked up, then please keep on watching. So I'll begin with this item that I'm wearing now. So this is a lovely knitted jumper. It's kind of ribbed. I'll come in closer so you can actually see the texture of it. It's got that super warm and fuzzy material that keeps you really nice and snug. And I absolutely love the color of it. So they actually sold out in extra small and small. So I had to pick up a medium just because I really liked the way it looked. And to be honest, I don't think the medium is actually too bad. It definitely looks a tiny bit too oversized and I could have done with a smaller size. But I think if you want more of an oversized look, I think the medium is perfect. And just for reference, I am a size six but sometimes in petite uh, sections I'm an eight so that's just for reference in case you're interested I absolutely love the color of it I think it's super versatile and another thing that I really liked about the Dorothy Perkins order that place is that all the items were super affordable and I also had so they were doing I think 40% off when I placed the order and I think I got another 15% on top if you subscribe to their newsletters so all the items that I'm going to show you were super affordably priced I can't remember what this was and I can't remember what any of the others were as well just because like I said I purchased them with a discount but I'll make sure to check the website when I'm editing this and leave it on the screen above so this is what the first jumper looks like and then the next item that I picked up is actually I don't know if you can see all the way I hope you can see all the way um maybe I need to move the camera down a bit Okay, so I'll move the camera down a bit so I hope you can see. So the next item that I picked up is actually this pair of white jeggings. I absolutely love the way these fit. And like I said, they were super affordable as well. And I picked this up in a size 8 just because I knew that this might come up a tiny bit too small. And I feel like the size 8 fits perfectly. If I had to criticize these, I'd probably say they're a tiny, tiny bit safer. Nothing too bad. I think if you were to wear the right underwear, you could definitely get away with them. And also the material is not too thick. It's quite thin. So just keep those two things in mind. But I personally absolutely love the way they fit. And also because they're from the petite section, I don't know if you can see, but the length, it's actually perfect for me. So I think these are an absolute win. I'll leave links in the description section if I can find all the other colors that they did but I think these are really really nice next I picked up these jumpers so this one is quite a similar color to the previous one I showed you but the texture is completely different I'll come in closer so you can see exactly what the texture is like on this one so this one is not as soft or as warm as the previous one and um, it still feels quite nice but it's just not as soft and as warm as the previous one so they're completely different materials this is the detailing on the sleeves here and this one in comparison with the previous one has a much higher neck and I think on the website this actually looked a lot longer than it does in real life so I'm not sure if I remember that correctly but I just remember that on the website it came up a lot longer on her maybe she was wearing a bigger size I'm not sure but on me it comes up quite short um I do really like it. and again I remember this one being super affordable and I think a jumper like this is going to be super versatile because of the color and also the style of it so you can wear it for many winters it's not necessarily going to go out of style so this is the next item that I picked up and if I had to compare the other one was so much warmer just for the time that I had it on I was actually feeling really hot I mean it's really hot indoors but with this one I don't feel as hot as I did with the previous one but nonetheless this is also a really nice jumper and I'll leave the price for this one on the screen and for reference I picked this one in an extra small and this is what it looks like on me and I'm wearing it with the same jeans that I showed you guys in the previous clip so it's these ones so next I picked up two pairs of boots actually I didn't want this color I wanted a darker color because they did this boot in several different colors but it was out of stock I believe in my size maybe they had other sizes in stock but they didn't have my size in stock so I ended up going for the lighter option and with these boots they're kind of a suede material they're not real suede they're false suede um, so I knew this would be either a love or hate and actually I don't mind them 
um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them just yet because this color looks like the kind of color that would get I would only have to wear them once and they would get absolutely destroyed so I'm not sure if this is the safest bet and I really do hope that they stock up the darker color that I had in mind because I feel like that one would be a lot more practical than this one is so I'll pop them on um, they don't have a heel they're flat and they've got a zipper that goes all the way down as you can see I'll pop them on so you can see what they look like on me and then let me know what you guys think as well. Do you like them? I knew this would be a love or hate and I don't mind them. I'm somewhere in the middle. Let me know what you guys think as well. So this is what they look like and I'm not going to lie. I think I bruised my finger trying to get them to close. I feel like they're fine to close until you get to like maybe about this point and then you have to really struggle. I mean, I did get them to close, which is great. And if you haven't seen any of my videos before, I have mentioned in the past that my calves are quite thick. So for me, it's quite difficult to actually find knee-high boots that actually fit my legs because they're thicker than I guess the average maybe so um yeah these do fit luckily and they're super comfy as well let me know what you guys think as well I'm not really a fan of how the zipper sits like here I wish it sat more like at the back so that you, co you couldn't really see it from the front so I'm actually going to look back on the footage and see what it looks like on the camera because in real life it doesn't look that great but yeah let me know what you guys think of these as well I'm not sure like I said just because the color would probably get really dirty but again these were so super 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 affordable which is amazing so if you like the look of these or if you like the look of all the other colors that they do on the website then this might be a really good buy but like I said they're not real suede so I wouldn't expect them to be too expensive next I got these boots and actually these look super super similar to a pair of boots that Manko is selling those ones are real leather and they retail for around 140 pounds and these were so much more affordable i think before the discount they were around 70 pounds but with the discount i think they were something ridiculous like 40 pounds or maybe even cheaper um they're not real leather so i think that's probably the biggest difference these ones also have a zipper i'm not sure if the mango ones have a zipper or if they're pull on but the color is super similar they are rounded their rounded toe and also the heel size is not too big so it looks like they would be quite comfy to walk in and one thing that I actually really like with these ones I'll come in closer so you can see is the fact that they've got this stretchy bit here so if you have bigger calves like me technically this should stretch and fit your calves so that would be amazing and also I'll open them up for you so you can see and I think this is the first time I've purchased a pair of boots and they've got this like um, lining on the inside which makes them super warm comfy and cushiony so yeah um i'll try them on for you guys so you can see what they look like and spoiler alert they don't fit okay let me just try them on for you quickly also one thing that i'm not a huge fan of is they came like that so they are bent so that means that when you wear them they automatically have a bend here which i'm not the biggest fan of but let me pop them on let me take these other ones off. this is the lining that i was talking about i don't know if you can see it but it looks so interesting it looks like it would make them super cozy spoiler alert they don't fit um they don't go all the way up i don't know if you can actually see it properly maybe i'll try to get the camera to zoom in and come in closer okay so i've zoomed the camera in and i don't know if you can see but they actually don't zip all the way up and also the fact that they have that stretchy bit at the top doesn't really help because they don't fit around here around my calves so this could have been an amazing pair of boots but unfortunately they don't fit me so if you have bigger calves then this might not be for you but if you have smaller calves then i think these are an amazing buy and they look really similar to the mango ones but if you don't want to invest in a knee-high pair of boots in this color then this would be absolutely perfect to just get you for this winter and in terms of comfort they do feel quite comfy to be honest they don't feel difficult to walk in of course i haven't walked in them so i can't tell for sure but just first impression i don't think they would be too difficult to walk in sometimes you can tell if something's going to be difficult to walk in but these ones don't give me that impression so yeah this is the next item that I picked up and I have two more items to show you guys so stay tuned to see what else I picked up okay so did I save the best till last mm, maybe potentially I mean this whole outfit looks super strange with my red lipstick and my earrings because they don't go at all but obviously this is what I was wearing before so I'm not going to change now so the next two items that I picked up and, and I think this is probably what inspired the whole order is because I'm looking for more like lounging sets and sets that are like really casual comfy that I can still wear outside 
or I can wear it inside the house if I choose to. So I saw this and I think it's quite difficult to find tracksuits like this in the petite sections, especially in these kind of colors that are a lot lighter, so like neutral light colors. So when I saw this, I knew I had to give it a go. So it's basically the joggers and the hoodie and I picked both of them up in a size six, I believe. They also did a size four, which I was like, wow, they do a size four. But I feel like size six is actually perfect. I wouldn't have needed a four and I wouldn't have needed an eight either. Well, maybe the eight would have been a bit looser, but I do feel like six is perfect. They are both super, super comfy. Um, there's not much to say about them. They've got fleece lining on the inside. The joggers are actually the perfect length on me. And like I said in the, um, the beginning of the video, I am five foot two, so if you're a similar height to me, then these are going to be perfect. My only thing is, <laughs> so I did quite like this outfit I wasn't too sure on it and then my boyfriend said it doesn't look too flattering and then I actually did a poll on my Instagram and most people voted for yes it's a nice outfit and I think only two or three people voted for no so I don't know I think it would make a really cute cozy outfit for like maybe going to the airport or things like that but I just don't know if it's a bit too too casual for me although I am on the lookout for some more casual pieces so I'm not sure let me know what you think as well I'm not decided on this one but it was super super affordable I think for the whole thing it was under 30 pounds so it's not bad at all and I think because it's designed for a petite person it fits so much nicer than anything you would potentially find in other stores like Zara or Mango or Stradivarius or stuff like that even H&M because I, I tend to have so much trouble with buying items like this from H&M because they're too long for me so I'm not sure on this one I might potentially keep it on mine now let me know what you guys think as well so that is everything I picked up from Dorothy Perkins from the petite section it was quite a surprising haul I think I do like everything that I purchased from them the quality I think is decent for the price um, I wouldn't say it's any worse than other stores that I usually buy from if you've stayed until the end thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this I'll see you guys in one of my future videos and until next time take care and bye for now